Well, two top uh, popular brands of sunscreen were recently recalled. You or someone you know maybe have been affected. Dina, standing by with all this and what this is about. Yes, good morning to you. So we're talking about Aveeno and Neutrogena, and their maker, Johnson & Johnson, says that they found a known carcinogen known as benzene inside. Now, it's been trace amounts of, of benzene, but still enough to cause a recall and to pull some of those items off the shelves. And I actually recently purchased one of those sunscreens, and I just got a voicemail over the weekend telling me about it. So take a listen to this. Johnson & Johnson and the FDA announced a recall of this item due to the possible presence of low levels of benzene. All right, so what does this mean? If you've used it, should you be worried? If you still have it on the shelves, how quickly do you need to get rid of it? And what does this mean for other sunscreens? Well, we have dermatologist Dr. Oma Abai of UC Davis Health joining us this morning to explain all of that. And I think first off, we want you to put us at, at ease a little, doctor, just to know I, I used the sunscreen prior to the recall being issued. So what does this mean for those of us who have done that? Right, so this is an issue because an independent lab tested 300 different samples of 69 brands of sunscreen and found levels of benzene that were actually higher than what is considered safe. And this is problematic because benzene is classified as a known carcinogen, meaning that it's been known to cause cancer, such as leukemia. Oh, wow. So there's been a huge issue here with Johnson & Johnson recalling several of these brands. The good news is that this was a very uh, widely tested, um, this, was a, uh, this was a test that tested multiple different types of brands, and there were some brands that were found to have non-detectable levels of benzene. Okay, so for those that did have the benzene, how does that end up in a sunscreen? Like, why was that even in a product that we would use normally to protect ourselves from the sun? It's a great question. So there is a misconception that benzene is a product, it's an ingredient in sunscreens. It's actually not true. It does not belong in sunscreen. It's not a normal ingredient in sunscreens. It's thought to be a contaminant, and this is something that's under investigation. So we really don't know how the benzene ended up in the sunscreens. Oh, wow. Okay, so I know you said that there were several sunscreens tested that didn't have the trace amounts. So what do we need to look for? I mean, is this an obvious label on the back that we can look for in the ingredients, or is there some way that we can know if it's an organic or a special brand specifically that we can be looking for. You know, this is very tricky because this is not brand specific. Okay. The same brand, for example, Neutrogena had multiple other sunscreens tested that did not have any detectable levels of benzene. And so Neutrogena and Aveeno are not necessarily brands that are, are known to have benzene in their sunscreen products. So really the key is to look at the report that was issued by the independent lab called Valisher. And I sent you a link mm -hmm. of the multiple sunscreens that were tested that had non-detectable levels of benzene and it really is just specific products that you can look for it's a pretty long list thankfully so there are several sunscreens that were shown to not have any detectable benzene in them but it's not as simple as just trying to find mineral sunscreens versus chemical sunscreens or trying to find specific brands mm -hmm. of sunscreens over others because this is not something that is brand or product specific Okay, good to know. And we are going to have that full list on our website, gooddaysacramento.com, for all of those who are concerned about this at home. I know personally, doctor, I just found out not long ago that we're expecting, uh, I've used sunscreen for years, obviously, and I'm sure the guidance from a dermatologist is still, still to protect your skin from the sun's damages and harmful rays, right? Even though this is out, I'm, I'm imagining your guidance will still be use the safe sunscreen. Absolutely. So for anybody who's thinking, well, maybe I just don't need sunscreen, I would strongly encourage you to continue using sunscreen. There is another carcinogen out there that causes cancer, and it's called the sun. Mm -hmm. And we need to protect our skin from the sun. Melanoma is still the fifth most commonly diagnosed cancer in the United States, wow. and this is something that's largely caused by sun exposure. So take a look at that long list of sunscreens where benzene was found to be non-detectable. Wear your sunscreen. Put it on at least SPF 30 and all exposed areas, continue wearing your protective clothing like long sleeves, wide brim hats, your sunglasses, try to stay in the shade, try not to be out in the sun between the peak sun hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. and be as safe as you can because we also know that sun exposure can cause cancer. Yeah, absolutely. All right, great information. Thank you so much again, Dr. Oma Abai of UC Davis, a dermatologist. We are so grateful for all of her expertise and we'll of course have much more of that information posted as well as that long 
long list of safe sunscreens on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. Cody. Mm -hmm.